I was going to do yard work all day long Saturday. I promised my wife I would, but now I understand things have changed. And darn the luck, <laughs> I'll have to sleep later and stay inside and do what I want to do. That's just the way it I, goes sometimes, I isn't hope it? Miss Renee's not listening. <laughs> I hope to she's that. not either. Or I'm going to have a nod about right there. Yeah, right. yeah, that may not be good. Well, we talked about how we would have the chance of yeah. rain for tomorrow. What's changing now is that the colder air is moving in quicker, okay. especially just above us. And what that may support is not only just rain, but we may have a snow mixture for tomorrow. Okay. But I have to stress, ground temperatures will remain warm, mm -hmm. air temperatures above freezing, so the impact should not be okay. much at Sounds all. Good. We'll talk about it in just a moment, but with this colder air moving in, for those of you that like the warm weather, well, maybe we can all catch a plane and go out to LA where the weather will be quite warm. It's 65 right now in LA and the forecast for the big game on Sunday. And yeah, we're looking at temperatures into the 80s. By the time we get to Sunday, we're going to be into the upper 50s and the low 60s. All right, let's come back here at home. Let's get serious and talk about the colder air moving in for the weekend. First of all, very warm these last few days, lower to mid 70s on our Friday afternoon. Tonight, cold front as we talked about already moving south of I-30. It's south of I-20 into the Metroplex. It's coming in toward Mineola right now. You have a temperature of 50. The wind is starting to turn around there coming into Van Zandt County. Also, there are some clouds beginning to develop there at this current time. Let me show you what the forecast has for tomorrow. We're looking at temperatures that will begin to drop. We're going to start in the 40s and then head down into the 30s. Notice though, we do expect some showers around, but new model data suggesting that we may have a rain snowflake mixture moving in. I'm going to explain more on that here in just a moment. Clouds are still expected to clear out by late Saturday evening, certainly overnight and Sunday morning. We're looking at a freeze to develop in East Texas. All right, let's show you future cast. Now we're going to pause it at about 3 a.m. Cold front moving into deep east Texas behind the front, a stronger north wind on the increase and a couple of showers moving in as well. You're going to notice this blue line come into the picture. When we showed it to you last week, we were talking about the actual surface freezing line. We're expecting our surface temperatures to stay above freezing. It's just a few thousand feet above our heads, the 2500 foot line. OK, just bear with me here that we see the temperature fall below freezing. As that moves into the area, that's going to allow some of the rain droplets to begin to mix with some snowflakes. Notice by 9 a.m. that 2500 foot freezing line is right near the central areas, and that's why we see the changeover occur to maybe some snowflakes mixed in with the rain. Now again, I mentioned the surface temperatures are going to remain above freezing. The road temperatures well above freezing. Yes, they'll be colder tomorrow, but we're not expecting impacts out of this system. There's two o'clock. Notice how the precipitation still may have a snowflake or two mixed in. That'll begin to clear out after five o'clock for tomorrow, and we'll be left with decreasing clouds. And as a result of the clouds clearing and the wind turning calm into Sunday morning, we've got lows down into the middle and the low 20. So a very cold start by Sunday morning. So the first half of this weekend, definitely a lot colder. Adjustments made to the temperature. We're going from 40s to the 30s into the afternoon hours. Sunday is nice, 61. Then we warm up again next week near 70 Monday and Tuesday. We've got a storm threat Wednesday night into Thursday. Those may be on the strongest severe side, so we're going to watch for that closely as well. And deep East Texas, better chances for some showers may have a snowflake or two mixed in, but then things dry out and a wonderful second half of the weekend is ahead. And now sports has turned into 